previously on Lime Mops. I want you to join Elite Front Securities as Are you okay, Che? You look a little pale. I'm okay. Winston is finally going to transfer to Anson High. You managed to convince him. Won't he be even angrier when he finds out the truth? I'll do anything that will be good for him in the long run. Get off our lives. You tricked me! You tricked me! We all saw today's video. You only showed up after Alex's meltdown had begun. The kids are anxious and Amos can't stop talking about Oh, that's because Amos and Cristiano played a cruel prank on Elliot. Boys will be boys. I think I know someone who is disruptive. Why don't you tell your mom about Elliot? I can't focus when he's talking about tornadoes all the time. It disrupts my learning. Hua Seng has seen a lot of changes since you came here, Mr. Sui. Mm. We've improved our rank by almost 20 places in the last five years. Oh, looks very promising. I had such good memories at Hua Seng. And I've been wanting to contribute to the school for a while now. But these recent spades of fights online. I understand. Social media has not helped in highlighting the unfortunate deeds of our more challenging students. But we are a good school who believes in value adding to our kids. We have even started to attract high performing students. The top PSLE boy chose Hua Sing just a year ago. In fact, he's in this class. No, that's not quite right. But good try, Jenny. I know this problem is harder than most of you are used to. But that's why I wanted us to solve it as a class. Anybody else wants to try? About hmm. Winston. <laughs> Winston. Winston. What? Would you like to answer the question? No. I <sighs> Winston. I would really like you to try to answer the question. No. You've already asked everyone and they don't know. So just tell us the answer. No, just tell us already. Uh, all right. Come, let me show you the medals from our recent sports competition. This way. What's going on? Daddy made pancakes. Oh, so Singapore's 30th hottest bachelor can also cook up a mean breakfast. Well, should have told the judges. They would have bumped me up to top 10 at least. <laughs> I can only stay for two minutes, but this looks amazing. Mm, I just want to celebrate. The figures just came in last night, and my Jewel Clinic finally profitable. Wow, and in only eight months. Yeah, the team has been working really hard. I'm so blessed to have such a great group of doctors. And the Old Boys Network have been a godsend. I've been meaning to ask, is that Dr. Kristana who's been in the news recently? Is she from Charleston's alumni? Uh, you know, she runs that charity, um, Kristana Pediatrics Foundation. Is she the one who stole all the money from children with cancer? Mm -hmm. Well, technically, she's being accused of misappropriating charity funds. And yeah, her partner was on the board. But since the scandals broke, she stepped down. I never would have expected. Dr. Kristana seems like such a smart lady. Apparently, smarts and ethics don't always go together. I guess managing all that money was too tempting even for a doctor. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems that all the donations for the needy will dry up. And all the good the foundation did will be discredited. Mm. It's not because of one stupid decision. Dr. Kristana Johnson, the head of children's cancer charity Kristana Pediatric Foundation, or KPF as it's better known, has made bail after being charged with criminal breach of trust and money laundering. Mummy, it's on! <sighs> what did I miss? Dr. Kristana is out on bail. But isn't the bail? Ta -da. Ta -da. I need to 
wrong profession. If I'm a doctor, I'd help people not steal their money. Or maybe I'd be a lawyer just like you and put people like that in jail. That's my girl. <laughs> Excuse me? Wow. Zai, you look so good. <sighs> Forget it, you missed the moment. Did your boss tell you who your new client is going to be? Potential client. But no, nope, still top secret. But the big boss has made it clear that if I can get him over the line in the meeting today, there will be a big bonus with my name on it. I say it's going to be an actor or maybe a sports personality. Three scoops of ice cream says that he's just some boring businessman. I see your three scoops of ice cream and I raise you a chocolate bar that is going to be a famous celebrity. Done. Done. Okay, once you girls are done gambling with my career, can someone please help me fix this stupid tie? <laughs> Let me do it. Are you excited? Nervous, actually. You're gonna be fine, Sam. doesn't get better the louder you play. Focus on the finger positions and listen to the notes as they come out. Okay? Now try again. Why don't you just make out with it, Elliot? What a freak. Mom says people like him don't belong in Charleston. They take the teacher's attention and drag the rest of us down. Then how come they let him stay? Mom says Miss Chang doesn't look back kicking out an autistic kid. So we are all stuck with him. To a heck of a year and all our hard work. And to my next Ferrari. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I thought you already have three Ferraris. Your garage still has space for one more. No, only have two. The last one is a... Um... Porsche. Just a <sighs> Porsche. Looks like I'm doing something wrong. Dude, it's all about the specialty. Plastic surgeons get all the best clients. What's that one girl's name again? Bella or something. She's in every week. Her name's Isabel. Look, you fix a cough and a cold, and they don't come back for six months. But you tell them that you can make them beautiful. They will hand over their life savings just like that. Careful, you make it sound like we're pushing drugs. Dude, all this cash up, Tai Tai's, youth is a more powerful drug than heroin. Just the other day, Mrs. Chu came by for simple mole removal. She ended up signing for a $10,000 Botox plan. <laughs> oh, what can I say? Vanity is good business. Our new marketing campaign starts in a few days. Hopefully, we'll get some new clients so we won't have to rely on existing ones for future growth. Sounds like a great plan. I mean, how many Mrs. Chu's can one bankrupt, right? Even with your skills? Is that a challenge? You bet it is. Then it's on. It's on? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Reza. Thank you. Mr. Reza? From Elite Front Securities? Hmm. You had a new client? Good. I thought that the GM would be some old, fat Chinese uncle, but... Oh. You're perfect. <laughs> Hi, I'm Reza. Thank you for considering us for your security needs. Um, it's a pleasure meeting you. Doctor... Kristana. Hi. 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 Hey. Scare me. I thought it was Principal Pang. Get your eyes checked already. See ya. If I were to turn out in specs, Brady will beat me up. He'll think that I'm you. I think he needs glasses too. Hey, can I have one? Huh? Hey, 
Smoking kills it. Do not read. I'm not gonna smoke it, idiot. Just going to play with it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Aren't you supposed to go off to Ensign High like a good boy next month? Plans change. My parents are getting divorced. All the crap about her and dad trying to work it out, all just lies to manipulate me. I found the divorce papers. She signed them. You made a case this morning so that Ensign High doesn't want you. <laughs> Didn't they already accepted you? They can understand me. With your help. My help? I tutor you in math, you tutor me in being a Paikia. <laughs> you do know there are other ways to piss off your mother, right? Like what? Like, AC and O levels. But then, tell her you want to be an. an artist. Romeo, Julie, where are you? <sighs> she hate that. Okay. Has everyone found that group already? Yes. Mm. Mr. Quack, mm. I think Ella doesn't have a group yet. Uh, uh, thank you, Hillary. Oh, uh, Ella, can you join the group over there? What? No. Okay. Remember. This project is going to carry 20% of your SA1 score. So I want to see lots of good teamwork. Great. The freak is going to crash my SA1 score. Can you stop being so mean, Amos? Why? Are you his girlfriend? Hey, hey, hey Amos. Since you like to talk so much, why do you answer the question on the board? No? Then listen more. Otherwise, you let your group down. Anybody knows the answer? Elliot? The answer is D. None of the above. Very good, Elliot. Answer is D. None of the above. For most of you, this is the worst I've seen you done. You better tell me what you plan to do to back up. I'll be out with my friends, with the drink in my hand. This is what I need. This is what I need. Where are these two? I don't know what's wrong with him. His grades have fallen. And yesterday, he missed two classes. Mrs. Lin, are you listening to me? I'm sure some of your best students stumble sometimes. This is more than stumbling. He's doing it intentionally. Where is this coming from? Something happened? No. Everything is fine at home. If this continues, I cannot in good conscience recommend Winston to Anson High. He has already been accepted for semester two. It doesn't matter. If he keeps this up, he will fail his essay one. And Anson High won't like that.
What is this? Who are you? Skipping classes, failing assignments and now smoking? Why are you so determined to destroy everything you worked so hard for? Just like how you destroyed this family. You don't know what you're talking about. Liar! Such a big fake. I can't stand it anymore! Keep it down. Your sisters. Mommy, what's going on? I'm not keeping your secrets anymore. Liar. Faker. Slut! Winston! Mommy, what's happening? Hillary, let's go. No! You need to hear this. Everyone needs to hear this! You're behaving like a child. Winston. It's time someone told them the truth. M Mommy. What is this? She's been lying to us this whole time! Can you just calm down? She and Dad are divorced! Winston! You're scaring them. Go back to your room. Do you know what's scary, Hillary? Do you know why you're deaf in one ear? No! She hit you when you were three. Just because you tore my GEP application. Stop it, Winston! She was three! Hillary, I... All she cares about is our results, or our health, or our happiness. Just so she can look perfect and wonderful in front of everyone else. Shut up! Shut up! What are we gonna do? Hit me? Just like how you hit Hillary? You can't control me anymore. I will not listen! Stop it, Winston! Something's wrong! Mommy, are you okay? Morning, Doris. Morning. I saw the magazine, Mr. Lim. Very exciting. Oh, where? I think it's already brought in a new customer, Miss Kim. She looks very professional, very wealthy. I'll let her sit down inside. Okay, thanks. Hi, good morning, Miss Kim. I'm Marcus Lim, the head doctor. Of course. I recognize you from the magazine, Bachelor Number 30. I'm Miss Kim, lawyer to your former patient, Isabel Tan, and we are suing you for malpractice. <laughs> suing me for malpractice? If you don't have a lawyer, I suggest you start looking for one, Mr. Head Doctor. I'm returning the first assignment for the project. Most of you did very well. But some of you just need to try harder. Here you go. What? C plus? Are you kidding me? I'm going to give you some time to go over my remarks and then we'll go through them together, all right? And since this project is going to be graded, I'm going to need your parents' signatures. Who's gonna pull us down? Alice actually got an A. It's just that has all the mistakes, Amos. It's only because I'm so distracted having him in our group. How am I supposed to concentrate when he's being so weird? He barely says anything. You're the one always picking on him. C plus? I've never gotten a C plus. It's okay. We'll just have to work extra hard for the next assignment. As a team. Right, Amos? Look, I did everything by the book. It's not my fault. She didn't want to see a specialist. She has melanoma. Did you really not notice anything suspicious? I'm a cosmetic surgeon. It's not my job to look for cancer. Anyway, she seemed fine. Couldn't have been that advanced. She has stage 4. You were treating her for skin discoloration for an entire year. It looks bad. It reflects badly on the entire practice. She could go to the media. Look, this happens all the time. A patient gets sick, and she blames the doctor. She doesn't have a case. My lawyer will crush her, and we can all go back to making Your money. lawyer was just in the news defending that Dr. Cristana. We don't need that kind of association. I will choose which lawyer we're going to use.
say this? What is it? It's an assignment for a science project. It's only the first one. C plus? Since when do you start getting C's? It wasn't my fault. It was a group project. Don't blame other people. But really, there's another boy in our group that always distracted Stop me. Stop making excuses. You have to learn to take responsibility for your own actions. This is not good enough. You've been playing a lot of computer games recently. I'm taking away your iPad. But Dad... Stop! You get it back when your grades improve. Durrani, I need your help. Just so we're on the same page, this is a no prejudice meeting to clarify what happened and possibly avoid the stress of a trial. You mean the expense and media attention of a trial? My client has been treated terribly by your clinic and will have a right to a day in court if that's what it takes to seek justice. Your client is a vain woman who made a mistake and is now looking for someone to blame. Dr. Oye, please just let me do the talking. You better listen to your lawyer, Dr. Oye. I don't think your callous attitude would do very well in a meeting. And you're making cheap threats because you don't have a case. You misdiagnosed me for a year. No, I treated you for a year. When you first came here, your skin was so blotchy, so scarred like a rotten tomato, but look at you now. You're glowing. <laughs> Dying. My client will testify that Dr. Oi dissuaded her from seeking a second opinion about the discoloration caused by the cancer and as a result stopped her from getting the medical help she so urgently needed. We want $100,000 to cover the bills that she paid you plus the medical expenses for everything. You can shove your medical Thank expenses you. up. I need some time to discuss with my clients, please. Please. What the hell? You never told me she wanted a second opinion. She is lying. She's saying anything to get some money. She's obviously in serious debt. Cancer is an expensive disease. You should have been an oncologist. Even if that's the case, you should have known something was wrong when it didn't go away. Skin issues are tricky. Come on, you call yourself doctor. Gentlemen, please. Look, I think we all agree that there's been some sort of culpability on Dr. James Oi's part. But how much of that they can prove is uncertain. What we do know now is this cannot go public, which means it needs to stay out of court. Which means settlement. You need to decide on a number, and then I'll negotiate from there. I'm not giving her $100,000. If she cannot afford treatment, means that she cannot afford a court fight. She's bluffing. She's dying, which means we have to settle this quickly so she can enjoy what time she has left. Look, the clinic's doing OK. We can afford something. Durrani, what's a fair number? We can start with 20,000 and our top being 35,000. Okay. Fine, whatever. But I'm telling you, you guys are making a big mistake. If you pay her off, all her little friends are going to come out and sue us next and then BAM! Class action. Shut up, James. Dr. Kristana, what a pleasant surprise. Is it? Because I swear you were avoiding me. No, I simply felt that you'd be in better hands with one of our best consultants. Because you don't like me. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have thick skin. I have to, all things considered. But I also have a very lucrative three-month security contract, which I think your director would be very, very sorry to lose. Dr. Kristana, why do you want to work with me? I like you. I think you're honest, and I don't have many 
on his people around me. Besides, the other security consultant you sent me looked like he was 14 years old. <clears throat> Good, so it's settled. My dad yelled at me when I asked him to sign the paper yesterday. My mom was furious too. Luckily, she was calling in from a fashion show in Paris. Otherwise, I've been caned for sure. She said I better take care of it, or else. I tried to tell my dad that was a good project, but he didn't listen. And he took away my iPad. Don't worry, we'll get it back for sure once we get Elliot out of our group and top the class for the next assignment. Sounds good? Anyway, what are we doing here? Following Elliot, he's in the music room. But we're not allowed in there without Miss Karen. He's been going there a lot. Let's go. Look, he's hugging the ukulele again. He'll get into so much trouble. Going to the toilet. Let's get Miss Karen when he comes back. No. I've got a better idea. Right, we're ready to hear your offer. <clears throat> Out of the goodness of my heart and sympathy to your client situation, I'm willing to offer $2,000. This is completely unacceptable and a waste of our time. You're right. It's a waste of my time. So either you can take it or we can discuss this in court. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Make sure you put it in my room after you're done. I don't want to have to go looking for it again. Thanks. I'll bring mine from home when I get the chance. So, how long are you going to stay here? You know, so I can decide whether or not to buy a phone charger. Just leave him alone, uh, Kylie. What? I'm just being friendly. Oh, please. You're just being busybody. I just think it's weird he has this super hardcore mom who doesn't care he's been living with us for two days. Well, you can stay for as long as he likes, okay? Look. I can find someone else to go if it really bothers you, but who's going to help you with your homework? Good tuition is expensive, you know. Yeah, Kylie. Who's going to help you with your A maths, huh? What kind of freak sec to know how to do sec 3 math anyway? What kind of idiot gets the same question wrong five times? Twice! I got it wrong twice. No, you got it no, wrong twice. five times. First, you got the inequality wrong. You split it up wrongly. Then after you put an X twice. in the set. No. In the Y in the set. Now after you put a Y... Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? One of my staff has dengue. Yeah? I'm just visiting. How about you? So I'll pass you to class next, maybe later. Yeah, sounds good. Boys, what's wrong? Good, good morning, morning Miss Sim and Miss Karen. Karen. What's going on here? There's someone in the music room and it shouldn't be. Come quick. Let's go. How long has he been gone? Three days since the fight. 
He's still been going to school, I called. He's just not coming home. And the girls. Yeah, have you talked to them? They won't talk to me. Have you tried apologizing? Apologize? They're my children. I've only done what's best. I shouldn't have to explain. Yes, they're children, but divorce is an adult problem. They still have to deal with it. Maybe you should try. You'd be surprised how powerful a simple sorry can be. Is all that medication for you? No, I'm fine. Just getting something for an aunt. I'm going to give you 20 minutes for you to discuss your next assignment. All right? Okay. Mm. okay. Carry on. Where's Elliot? Suspended for damaging school property. <laughs> what? When? Now we'll top the class for sure. You should thank us. Us? Kai, do you have anything to do with this? It was his idea. Genius. Come on. You've got work to do. Winston? Andy. S sorry, who is this? Spencer. I'm Winston's friend. I just want to let you know he's okay. He's staying with us now, with our family. But he just... He needs some space. But don't worry, he'll be fine. Auntie, are you still there? Yes, I... I really appreciate it, Spencer. Thank you. What? You did the right thing, bro. Okay, so let's go over this one more time before they arrive. We are going to offer 20000 with a ceiling of 35000 And Dr. Oi, it would be great if you let me do the talking this I'm time. I'm telling you, I'm saving you all time and money. James, you're the doctor, she's the lawyer. Listen. Miss Kim, you're earning. The conference is cancelled. My client accepts your offer. I'm sorry, our offer? Of $2,000? Yeah, it's beyond pathetic and we both know it. But my client has to go for chemo treatment soon and they won't admit her until she settles her bills. Well, she's smarter than I thought. Shut up. You know, I took on this case pro bono because I thought I could show the world what a greedy pile of feces you are. But I guess I have to respect my client's wishes. Yes, you do. And I would advise you both to shut your mouth. Standard settlement gag order. If I hear a hint of a story anywhere in the press, I will sue you both for breach of contract and libel. I just saved everyone $18,000. 20000 You're gonna pay the 2000 yourself. Clean up your own mess.
I'm sorry I lost my temper with you that day. I had a bad day at work. It's okay, Daddy. So how's the science project going? Much better now Elliot's out of our group. Elliot, is he the special needs boy? What happened? He got suspended. He went into the music room during recess when he's not supposed to, and Amos and I, we... We... We told the teachers, and when we got there, the whole room was trashed. You should have seen Elliot's face. He didn't know what happened. What did he say? He didn't say anything. So weird. Kai, it's not nice to call someone weird. Did you see Elliot trash the room? No. But it doesn't matter, Daddy. He's gone and he won't be pulling our group down anymore. If you think he didn't do it, you need to tell the teachers. But then I will get into trouble. Then Amos and I... Amos and you? What did you do? Nothing. Kai, if you did something wrong, you need to own up and make it right. Not let someone else take the blame for it. So you want me to get suspended? No. Look, I know you do the right thing. Hmm? Kai? Hilary, what are you doing? It's late. I'm sorry, Mommy. I'll go back to bed. I'll make you the way you like. It's okay. I'm not thirsty anymore. Hilary. wanted to hurt you. I was angry and, and I made a mistake. Could you forgive me? <sighs> Thank you. Bring your Milo to you there. Just this once. Winston, you're back. Are, are you hungry? I'm making Milo. I needed more clothes. Winston! This is your home. Whatever disagreements, you should be here. Your sisters need you. Don't use them. We can sort this out. Whatever it is, I'm willing to talk it out. It's too late. Winston, I know you're angry about your dad and I, but this is more important than that. Anson High is expecting you. Expecting you to confirm their offer. what happened. But it's over. Let me buy you a drink and make up for it. Come on, Marcus. It's been such a long week. We all deserve a break. Besides, you're not going to leave me alone with this creep, are you? I might come back with a new nose. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but only because I don't want you to sue me when he botches it. Such encouragement from my colleagues. Really, really warms my heart. Oh, no, 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 no. That's probably just indigestion. <laughs> Let's go. I just got a call from the director. Dr. Cristiano wants to sign on with us and she's requested that I look after her account personally. Well, that's good news, right? 
If all goes well, we can book our holiday. <coughs> yeah. It's just that. It's Dr. Krista now. Sam, I just want to be professional. But I know the company needs the business. But I just wish there was another way. I know. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Sam, I've just lawyered a dying woman out of $18,000. Something special tonight. Give me that one thousand dollar eighteen year old single mom, whatever. James, slow down. Hey, I'm buying. Don't complain. Oh hey, I'll catch you guys later. Just saw a friend to be. A thousand dollars for a bottle of whiskey. You could have thrown that in with Isabel's offer. Give the poor girl some relief. I would rather burn the money than give it to her. James, I was putting a file back and I noticed hers isn't the only one. She isn't even our most lucrative patient. What can I say? Business is good for us cosmetic surgeons. Thank you, social media. Thank you, Photoshop. There's never been a better time to sell beauty to the fat and the ugly. Hey, don't be jealous. You can't change your speciality, but you can refer your patients to me, and then the clinic and the rest of you cannot reap the profits. So easy to string down the law. Just like I did with Isabel. Just drop a few insults with your compliments, tell them, oh, you're looking good, but not good enough. And then let the insecurities do the work. Even when her treatment wasn't working well, which pff, of course it wouldn't. Just need to wave a glossy new brochure from Europe oh, in front of face with a Kardashian in front and she would jump at it like a hungry woman. What do you mean, of course it wouldn't work? You told me you didn't know about the cancer. Of course I knew! Telling a difference between a mole and a melanoma, that's cosmetic surgery 101. Even you would know. <laughs> Just that. I didn't expect that she would buy it for so long. Or that her, her cancer would progress so fast. I have to go. See you next week. Hey, 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 Marcus, Marcus. Don't feel bad, okay? You can either do the right thing or... You can get really, really rich. Huh? Thanks. But no thanks. <laughs> hey!
Deeper shade. 